Hello everyone, welcome back to Altruist Plays. We are playing Pacific Drive. We're back with uh, Cappy. Oh, hello, Oppie. Oppie, Cappy. Like another wall, and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. Ooh. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Morta have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Um, if you say so, find the observation tower overlooking Sierra, which is this, I'm supposing. Um, there's only two stabilizers, but there are four gates to get us out of here. Uh, there's noises happening. I think we'll just spend a bit of time maybe gathering some materials and then we'll probably just end up heading straight for that um quest mark i i suspect this is not going to be the only thing they want me to do in this area uh so i won't spend too long off the beaten path where i already seem to be where did that house go <laughs> it's just deleting itself oh there it is no that's a left right There was a house, and now there isn't a house. Uh, I should have a look at the status of my car as well, huh? Ooh, I was just talking about those, and there's one right. Oh, there it is, look in the fog. Slippery road, okay. Uh, fuel is okay, and we're in Sierra, and there's going to be um, pick up a loppable fuel. Let's just check, uh, needs to fix. I mean, I, I knew it needed a fix because it said so in my uh, thing over there, in the readout on the car. Uh, but I kind of wanted to match, for my own sanity, for my own understanding, the colour of the readout to the state of the car. And it seemed like that was particularly poor. Oh, hello. What's wrong with you? Loose. Your mama. What's all that noise, though? Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, a sneeze that I hopefully remember to cut out. <laughs> Here's a mechanics kit. That's handy. Bonk, bonk. Smash. Oh, it's so silly. Uh, fine, fine. Everything seems fine-ish. Uh, and I'm also going to check. So the, the amount of stuff in here is high. The amount of stuff in here is also kind of high. Have I really not got anything that can stack? No, not really. Gosh, <laughs> fine. We did l a lot of uh, looting last episode, and we haven't really given ourselves any more space. Um, mostly because I made the storage rack and not the thing that the storage rack goes on. And I didn't want a storage rack because I wanted the lightning thing to go on that anyway. Is that making that noise from here? Maybe it's uh, closer than, it thinks, uh, than I think it is. Uh, it's, it's, there's nothing in this house. How dare you? It's okay. This is clearly a honeypot. Look at the colour of it. It's not honeypotting. Okay, fine. Uh, pseudo, steel panel. Uh, we'll take something, I suppose. I do want to save a bit of space because I want to get the. Plasma from the Zappy Tower Machine friend. What a whole panel. It's also helpful when it gives me stuff that stacks with what I've already got. Thank you very much for that. Have a cup. Cup a char. You actually supposed were you originally a cafe? Ooh. Rumbling over there. I couldn't I realised the reason I couldn't figure out where my car was is that the Light, lighting up the fog so I couldn't see the car because of the car. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, I'm not okay with this though. I want to hear something. Oh, that's the volume. I keep doing that.
There is another thing opposite, actually. Let's see if we can figure that out before we go to the zip zap over there. Oh, it's just one of them. Fair enough. Stop. No. You stop. Loser. You don't feel? Okay. We've definitely got enough fuel at least to get to the uh, fuel station that I'm certain is around here. Are you going to give me some cool stuff? Eat. Just, just one. You're supposed to sort of chain react. I rely on you to chain react. Just like that. Where did the flare go, <laughs> by the way? Anything? No? Alright, if you're going to be like that about it. There it is. <laughs> what the heck? How fire? What is how high in the sky did you go? I mean, granted, it's a you know very light thing and probably quite the explosion, but still, come on. There's a lot of unwelcome noises. Ooh. I like these box trucks. What have you got? Just steel? Yeah. We'll loot you. Ah, oh, fresh one. Lovely mate. You know what? Take this and give me that. What's this? A flower. I think it's a... A hood ornament. Oh, I'm reminded. I haven't forgotten that we said that we do the... Ooh the reading of the law when we get back. So it's going to be in the middle of the episode today. Oh, crikey. Any of this stack? No. <laughs> uh, it's just so much stuff. I kind of want to go back just so that I can get rid of all my stuff that I've picked up. Uh, shall we have another go at these losers? I feel like I should be able to reuse that bear. That's what I want to do. Thank you. If it ever comes to Earth again. <laughs> Somewhere nearby. Seems a bit min maxi for flares, you know? The literally everywhere things. Eh, that'll be alright. Can't tell if this is brighter nights or if it's actually getting light outside because I feel like I could see really well for uh, for a nighttime. Oh, I didn't check this. Hold on. I'm looting everything. I have no room for this stuff. We should put down the uh, waypoint, I think. Like, for reals. We could put it in park, right? Yeah. Just one. Cheapskate. Alright, see yourself. I think it might be worth maybe not carrying spares of things. And instead... Well, I'm not really. I've got one spare of this, which I might not need. Um, and instead, just use up the, the the materials on the road, to be honest. Just because of how prevalent the materials are. We want to actually turn left just behind us, where the track separates. I'm going to go across this very... Awkward dirt track in the middle of the night in the fog. Ooh, another spark town. We do need our plasma. We, we don't get very much. Ah. Gotta, gotta do better than that. It doesn't really give you a, a sort of a visual indication for the player when this is ready to smash something. You don't have to fully charge it. Otherwise, it wouldn't matter. You'd just hold it down until it did itself. Right? 
I see something in the... Yeah. Worth a look? I don't think it's necessarily... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not necessarily worth a look, he said, and then immediately convinced himself otherwise. Ooh, maybe. Whoa! Then physics are back. I don't have a shadow. That's fine. I don't have a, <laughs> any hands either, so... Maybe I don't have a reflection. Maybe I'm a vampire. Maybe I'm not really here. That would make a lot of sense for all of this. This is all just a nightmare. It's a brief interlude on a midsummer night's dream. Ignoring the boring cars that I've seen a thousand times. Avoiding the vestrians. Avoiding the left right. Should get there fairly soon enough. Imagine having to tell people this is where you live. It's like free postal service mail sending. You know, just <laughs> you know, if you got if you end up at the Spark Tower, you've gone too far. Can you please deliver this to the person who lives at the Sentry Tower at the end of the dirt lane. The towers are locked up tight. Tighten up security protocols all day, only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and anyway. for me. Uh, oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. What did you say it was? Oh, nice. I don't need to remember, but there was still animated the correct code. That is an attention to detail that shows care has been put into this game. Right, right, dude? You can turn a crowbar into... What now? Heavy stuff. Lead? Is that lead? How many crowbars? <laughs> More than that, apparently. What am I doing up here? Scan the stabilizer map. The what? There's a map. Ooh. There's a locker on the ground. There's a shirt in it. Did I miss something? Am I my city? Yes, it's very bright, so I couldn't tell. Bleep, bleep. We've got that to read as well. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. Right on. Exit the area via the stabilized yeah, access road. I found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The right. access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Oop. What does C do? Sign quick slot. No, oh, thank you. Oh, it just puts it in your hand. <gasps> That's really, uh, well, handy, I guess. I, mean, I don't necessarily need a quick slot for it, but putting it in my actual hand is very helpful. Oh my god. <laughs> I really have no room for anything. Right, where are we going? Oh, these gates are too close, I guess. Yeah. I can't do that. I'm just leaving. We could just leave. I I can get the limb on the way and then just go. Because I don't have space. <laughs> okay, we'll go back down this road. Um, and then I don't know, jump off? <laughs> There's stuff down there. How are we doing for fuel? How are we doing for battery? Oh my god, the battery. Might be able to recharge the battery. I might have the equipment for that, maybe? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> uh, let's have a manual shifty of our situation. I think we can just go down here. I think we can, actually. And it's 
it's bad for me, so maybe the car can deal with it. I am but a squishy human. This looks like a road. I've got two off-road tyres. At the back, apparently not where the control needs to be. But that's okay. Uh. I'm taking a bit of damage <laughs> in all the places that aren't well secured. Here we go. What could go wrong? Look, we're back where we wanted to be. Nice. Uh, sort of. Sort of nice and sort of where I want to be. Sort of back, etc. Um, here we go. It's got uh, sort of Stranger Things stuff all over it. Which I'm not a fan of. I preferred it when it was Soma stuff. Do I have the uh, hmm. electrician's kit? I don't think I can make that. Um, do I have the helping me against radiation thing? I might do because I'm not taking too much damage. Let's um, grab that. And then just like, where's my battery? There it is. Do that. And then turn off the dang lights. It's wasting energy. Turn that off. Uh, no, turn that off. There we go. Thank you. Can't deal with that one, because I can't get in it. Oh, there's lead here as well, which might be really helpful. I'm going to do a quick try and get that sort of jobby. Can I get over there? Might have to open that again. Just reset itself. That's the weirdness of this area, huh? Everything's just gone back to the way it was, if, as if I were never here. What's this after? Gears turn into transistors. Oh, I'm alright. Uh, push this. Ooh, an Arda crate. What's this now? More telecommunications that we can read later. Anomaly studies number two. I'm aware of my uh, health going down rapidly. <laughs> well, it's not that rapidly. Keep eating all this uh, spam and that. It'll be fine. Oh, there's more. Oh no, that's batteries. Batteries in the cooler. Are they that bad? Uh, number six, please. Oh. Rude. Break it. Hmm, probably make a better room for light bulbs. How much do we need light bulbs? Not at all, probably. Most of them need lead panels massively, so let's just get those. There we go. Not heavy at all. What are you talking about? Only lead. Come on. One of the lightest minerals known to man. Some more over here. I'm a, I'm a junkie for the lead right now. I'm worried about the lights. I've got lights so the cows come home. Not that it helps with the cows coming Well, it might help with the cows coming home. And then when they get home, I guess the lights turn off. I don't know. What happens when the cows come home? We just sort of stop worrying about the cows, and then everything that we were doing is no longer important. Look, there's more important things than cows. Right? When the cows come home, there are still problems. Let's eat something. 
Uh, I haven't got a fun. Mm. <laughs> I haven't got a map in my infantry. I can run forever, so I'm just gonna. All the, all the pedestrians have gone away. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I've forgotten already. Uh, right. Why is... What's this? Is that just Cappy? That might be just the location of Cappy. So let's um get out of here. Try and get this... What's name? See if we can find the... Uh, petrol station as well. See, that's open, and I want to loot... Just send you didn't see it. <laughs> I want to loot all the things. So this is where we go to the left. This seems scary. I don't like the idea of going down. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. In the spirit of exploration, I've never been down. Never explored this way before. Sounds like a left right. Keeping an eye out for lead. Some of the those outposts seem to be the place for lead. Ooh. This seems like a particularly dangerous area for humans and cars. Slippery here. Just gonna grab the thing and go. I guess. Hope that it doesn't destabilize, destabilize this area to the point where I can't actually um, leave. Again. Oh no, it's doing it. How dare you? Land it on its feet. Good old car. Right. Uh, this way. I don't know if we want to continue down this way. Can I get along that railway though? Maybe. Let's go forwards and try. I think it's just there. Like this ridge here. Too steep, apparently. I see, I see the I see the glowing boulder. Huh. <laughs> cool. Leave me low. I want the plasma. Kind of safeish over there, maybe. Does left or right affect you as a human? Is it just the car that's affected? Not sure I want to find out. Ooh. Just keep keep circle strafing. <laughs> Can't get you if you circle strafe. It's MLG gaming right there. Three of them, though. That was a well fortified plasma tower. It had energy to the nines. Right. Get back in the car. After doing this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's no room for anything. It's because you keep picking it all up. Look at that. I'm actually full. Oh, well. Whatever we can't carry, we can't carry. Uh, where are we? There. Guess we go back onto this road. Go behind as we go. And turn, turn, turn to the left. Whoa. Watch it, you. Dangerous out here. Keeping an eye out for any. Uh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah. But there might be. There is, but also I haven't got room for it. Ah! 
me anyway. What could you possibly have? Another thing. Normally encounters number three. Well, lots to learn when we get home. If we get home. Because now, the actual goal here is to leave through this way out. And that implies that we're going somewhere else. We could go through a gateway, but the whole point is, I think, that we explore now. So, let's not, uh, let's not second-guess the mission. The story of the game. Can we go back this, please? Thank you. <laughs> Two functions a car has, and I'd like you to execute one of them. This looks interesting. What's over here? Tanker. Oh, that's all right. I don't need the uh, petrol station if there's just a fuel tanker right here. I'd like you to stop moving. <laughs> you don't mind? Let's try and put it on a less sideways piece of ground. Got off road tires, get in there. It's gonna reach. Yeah. Not much in it. Oh, hang on. That's me. <laughs> Wonder how much is in the fuel tanker. So, who's chucking? Oh, are we in for a score? Whoa. Did you spawn underneath that and just yeet it across the floor? What? It's just a, just a door being flung across the world. Where did it come from? It's not one of mine, is it? No. Did it come off through this? No, you've got steel doors, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I could just have four off-roads. Shall I do that? How much have I got left in here? Maybe I only end up with three. That would be bad. Yeah, going to end up with three. Come back. It's a joke. <laughs> it's literally a joke. You're having a laugh, mate. I don't want three. But it's too big to go in there. Too big to go in there. That's what she said. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Is it? It is three by three, yeah. I think we can make 3x3 three three in here. That'll do. <laughs> Put anything away. Yeah. If we get a second one, then sort of job done, right? We can... Can I make... I don't think I can make the break a party thing. And also, I think that I need... The... The Liberator needs more thermosat crystals. And I've only got one... Despite the fact that these jokers keep arriving to tourists, not pedestrian. But it began with P. I couldn't think of the word because I was convinced it began with P. Yeah, they keep refusing to give me the the good stuff. Anyway. Uh fine. We'll just fill up a bit. I see no squall on its way. So we can probably just keep going up this hill. Maybe we go back down. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want to drive? Thank you. Let's go the way we were going. That was interesting for a while, but I think it's... The terrain is against me. And so is the number of charges in the Liberator. I think I wasted one a while ago. Because you have to charge it up to fire, but then it seemed like it fired twice. I didn't really want it to. Uh... Yeah, we keep going this way. Seems strange. I thought I approached this. Maybe it's just another one. Yeah, just drive into that. <laughs> the least difficult. It's not even... At least the anomalies sneak up on you sometimes. That was there. Just drive into it anyway. Let me out. What's that? Another one. Maybe, but I'm not going there, so...
I'm just not going to worry about this. Because this appears to be a an area <laughs> trying to hot dust me today. So I think I'll just go um, to the end turn right. No, left. To the left, to the left. Everything you want in the road to the left. This stuff is everywhere, look. Is that sparks? I was, oh, I was going to say it's not even on, but it is on. Is it in the juice? It's just outside the juice. We can probably uh, get something from it. Come on, then. Stupid tower. I'll get you. Told you. Not so dangerous that this anonymous courier can't deal with it. Hmm? I think you're all that. Right. Uh, oh, it's just up the way. There's a few... Um, things to loot goblin as well even though I'm actually completely full and incapable of carrying anything else so gonna go up there so here goes yeah I made it momentum used to great effect turn off I hate it when I forget to turn my wipers off before I turn the car off. In this case, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Maybe I'll just eat that. We're getting in there, huh? I'm now carrying resources. <laughs> I'm so full. I feel like I've eaten like a three horse meal and now I'm trying to have dessert or something. Oh, I lied. They didn't. Unless they said, I know what's going on. In which case, yeah, they did. Don't worry, we know what we're doing. As with every disaster movie everywhere, this game started with scientists, with people not listening to scientists. You're gonna break the phone apart, or what? Can't actually get it, apparently. Alright, like that. Don't forget you can kick stuff. <laughs> What a loser. Naff. We'll probably get some food out of the car. Maybe that'll help. Uh, it's, hot. it's hot IRL. I'm hoping my computer survives this. Because we... I don't want to have to do this all again or recover another video, you know? Just bits and pieces of tourists. Come on. How close you have to be? Where is it? There it is. No! Not full. Now I have to go back to the car. Put this down. Go back to the thing. Pick it up. Maybe I'll drive back. What a faff. I need way more storage. <laughs> it. I've got one square in each one as well. Just, why are you like this game? Maybe we can uh, take this out. Put these in. And then take... Mm, I don't know. These out. 
and then put this back in. There we go. Consolidated. That's how you know when someone's a programmer. Right. Um, go and get the stuff and then mark our waypoint. Let's mark our waypoint now so that we know where we're going. Um, yeah. I love how you can beep. I keep accidentally beeping because I can't remember what the controls I want to use are. That I don't really want to beep, so I forget that it's the <laughs> there's three controls, but only two of them I want to use. Keep pressing it, right? So... Oh, I was going to get some food. Whoa, hello. I'll eat these Marie's. Uh, over there, huh? Well, I see the obvious route. <laughs> Keep looking down as though I can see through the car. Can't. Just hope for the best. Um. Yeah, this is the main road. So we just follow this road. Looks like. And, and don't drive into the pillars. <laughs> it's a telegraph pole. Just smash. Ooh. Ooh. The uh, presence of the tourists is actually slightly more valuable than the presence of the fuel. Unleaded. Seems fair. Is that what we want? I don't know. Well, good, because I can't flip in... You know what you shouldn't do in a petrol station? <laughs> Is it a chuck around flammable? Yeah. Where did that go? Uh, whoa! <laughs> what is happening? That's amazing! <laughs> I'll do that again. Anytime. Hey, devs. <laughs> Glitched out the... Ooh, hello. I glitched out the thing. Just one thing? No! Cool. Don't even have a face now. Not even a dumpster anymore to ask if there's more. I've got too much stuff. Can't wait to get rid of it. <laughs> Put it back away. Oh, the garage is going to look amazing. It'll be so full. Maybe I'll be able to make a bunch of extra storage. Oh yeah, looking forward to that. Let's go. Back onto that road. Don't crash into the tourists. Although, it's kind of their own fault really. Didn't need the fuel, so I'm not going to Figure that one out. This way? Yeah, whoa! This is why you don't use your phone while driving, okay? I could probably stand to repair some of these things. They're looking a bit the worse for wear on the radar there. On the on the damage readout. Damage report, Mr. Spot. Do I care? Do I care? It looks empty. I'm not going to bother. Bash. <laughs> okay, how far away from me is the actual front of this actual car? That thing spawned a bush in order to crash into me with it. I haven't got the space. Ignore all the things. That's a short crate. You see that? Fatigue. Hold on. I'm going to read about that. Excuse me. Never mind then. <laughs> Guess we'll be there soon. Something is fatigued. Metal fatigue, probably. Unless it's me fatigue. I don't think it's me fatigue. Can I eat while driving? Yeah. It's there. Okay. Is there anything up there? Yes, but also, who cares? 
Moving on. Next zone. No. Oh, hello. I'm guessing we're going here. Six hours drive on the amount of petrol I've got left. Have you seen how fuel hungry this car is? Alright, I guess we're going here. How much stuff have I got? I'm just going to have to leave. Let's <laughs> get in here and go. I have no room. I can, there's nothing to... I can't loot. I really want to make the most of this space, but I have literally... like. I almost don't have enough inventory space to bring things with me and also get the limb. I'm just going to get the limb. I know the limb is going to be most important because I've got so much stuff. But the limb is gating us away from actually being able to learn. Like, we need pure limb to get another rack to put the lightning thing on. And another rack to put the, you know, the extra story space on and stuff like that. Right, talk to me, Yoppy. What are these? There can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech in those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Oh, okay. I'm setting up stabilizers. Right. So this is an actual mission. I'm ha I'm okay with it. We've got stuff to do, which can distract us from <laughs> all the, the looting that I'm really, really, really tempted to do. I guess I'm basically following these pipes. Although, I'll tell you what. Let's have a quick look. It's my turn to give you an explanation. About the mass hallucination that took huh? Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kane, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At zero four, Alan Turner? Their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. Surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Wait, what? Can I not do that? Sorry, I just didn't hold it down long enough. That's fine. Uh, do I need. Yeah, I do need some more. Ah, this one. Look. Bald. You're bald. This tire is all but trackless. Fix none. Fair enough. Uh, this is where we should find fatigue? No. Unreliable. I don't know if I have anything like that. So I need an electrician's kit to get into those places I currently can't get into. Um, I'll make another one of those. Let's sort our car out, cut car out before we go any further. I'm kind of tempted to just drop this repair putty when it's <laughs> when I don't need to do anything else. Wallop. And maybe we get rid of that tire that's now bald. That seems sensible. Whoa! Fix this now. Didn't realise I bashed it up that badly. I still have a summer tire in here, so... Uh, should be able to drop it. And then we need to remove it first. Oh, you're wonky. You're not wonky. Okay. Uh, get lost. Thank you. I love that they roll away. <laughs> Bye. The physics on that is great. That's got a star on it. That's okay. Right. I might as well use the. Oh, look. Use the rest of this. Does the chassis need anything? It doesn't exist. Okay. Windshield is still not broken, despite what I've been doing. Perfect. Now we've got some inventory space as well. What was on 5 that is no longer on 5? Uh, maybe food? I don't know. Got some space now, though. So I'll go loot goblin and... Oh, I haven't, because I have this... I've got a bit of space in here, though. That's it. <laughs> That's your space. Job done. Get out of it. Right. Uh... So that's looking nicer. But now I guess we're going to go. Let's put a dot here so that we kind of have some idea of the right direction. Uh, so it should be a dirt track. Is this it? This is it. Okay. Watch it. Crash. 
it told me about the um, the resistances of parts spreading to other parts. It mentioned that in a hint in the loading screen, which is why I knew it, but I've not seen it mentioned uh, along the way as far as I can remember. That's where it tells you. So those are actually worth reading in this game, at least for the first time. I don't think I can make another battery go zappy kit. But maybe I can get some from this. No. Whoa. I think that's a separate, separate anomaly from actual tourists. So I'm going to quick scout to see if I can get some thermo sap. So if I can get another liberator, I'm going to be grateful. Very well, allons-y. Uh, this map must be huge, we've hardly made any... Oh no, we started, <laughs> never mind. I was getting upset by how little progress we've made on this dirt track, but I had failed to take into account that we're halfway down it. There it is, look. Like New Vegas over there. Out. That was unexpectedly ouchy. Things are taking damage much faster than I'd expected them to. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Thought the uh, road went there for some reason, but it doesn't. It was hit. Like I've got off-road tyres, but I haven't got an off-road car. <laughs> what about off-road suspension? Etc. Do I need more repair footing? Yes. I'm going to do it now. Missing ingredients? Shush. No, it's already a wreck. Crikey. What's wrong with you now? Loose flipping wheel. Nope. Finish this off. I just fixed this. <laughs> what are you doing to me? And then what? Fix it. Seems like it's done it again, where it's not actually in my hand. There we go. Uh right. What are we doing? Gathering stuff. Great. Duct tape is quite handy considering. I don't need a crew panel, get out of it. Uh, considering what? Considering it goes into the mechanics kit. Building. What? Hello? Zone stabilizer. Again, we'll read that later. Bang. It's like big version of the little things. You know, thirty seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel sure when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw Maybe just to you. Disembodied arms, tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And uh, what about you, Abby? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But were you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Well, that's it. It's pronounced touche. Uh, okay. Needed the lead. 
Can't be bothered dealing with that. Did we go in this one? No. Just eat that. Why not, I suppose? Okay, moving on. Let's do the next one. I think if we continue along this path, we'll end up near that one, right? Over here, please. Oh, it's... <laughs> That's the one in the real world. <laughs> That's the one on the map. That seemed like such a weird glitch. It was a glitch in my head, to be fair. Good look in that one. Don't care. We know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination. Maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Downhill. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using limb to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Where the gamma rays come from, but out of space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens for this countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb assisted mass particle collision. Oh, heck. Tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. This way? A reservoir? Or a portal? Guess. A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? Saturn. To Atlantis. Of course. Now, why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it. Because you ain't got the smarts, you see. I'm absolutely here for all this lead. So I run out of inventory space and then I'm not anywhere for the lead. It just says resource. Oh, I haven't scanned the actual lead shielding, apparently. I see, I see, I see. Okay. A bit confused. Because I knew it was lead shielding, but I think the thing behind it is also lead shielding. Like the frame, and I haven't scanned that? I don't know. Now we know. We've done it. All good. Hello? Oh, that noise. Something was definitely happening over there. There's no actual stability in here. Like, there's no anchors that we can pull apart. Just the ones that we're turning on. It's interesting. Did this just spawn? Friendly Dumps are just spawn. That's nice. Ah! Stop it. We really need to... Ah! It's just when you think you've got the hang of it, it drags you back out again. Bro, what is this? Another pearl? Another another pearl? Do they not stack? Oh dear, they don't stack. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> okay, fine. It's gonna be it then. Actually full. That's some very useful gubbins you got in there. Probably it. Yeah, it's full. The opposite of full. Acts like full, actually empty. Well, it's got some space. Anyway. <laughs> it's really hard to get from A to B when there's so much to pick up along the way. Hello. New information. Spike puddle. 
Just avoid it, I guess. Can probably turn the lights off. Because I'm running low on battery. Kind of wondering if I can make a battery thing. Oh, here's the tourists with the zaps between them. Maybe they've got a different name. Yeah, they do. Shot tourist. Fair enough. Don't look so shocked, tourist. They didn't expect this culture to be quite so... Bizarre. Uh, right. I think it's worth it to try and get the thermosat crystals. I assume that these lot can still give me them. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Dangerous. The uh, anomaly is still here, even though the Taurus isn't. I see no goodies. Hello? Why are you eating scrap metal at me from the sky? What is happening? <laughs> Are they creating it when they spawn? Maybe. Oh look, that worked. Maybe I just farm this area a little bit? They're not close enough together. I don't understand this spawning of this... Where did the scrap metal come from? Why is the door open? Get in the car! Shut the door when I tell you to shut the door. Don't just get out. <laughs> it's moving. Oh, is there an achievement for bailing when it's moving? That would be amazing. Right, up here, there is going to be a track on the left for me to follow. Should be able to see it. If I thought you were going to do that, I wouldn't have bothered getting out. Maybe I'll just, um... Sort these jokers out a little bit. Did you pick up the th I think you ran away with the thing. Okay. Wait, what? Rude. Steady on. Don't know where they all went. I turned around and they literally... I've never seen them disappear, that's for sure. Also, I haven't seen any... Uh... I haven't seen a, a, an abductor for a while until just now. I thought they stopped making them. Off. <laughs> right. Uh, hmm. See if I can make a quick zappy battery machine. Uh, yes. Presumably it's a bunch of batteries that I've just hooked together using my expertise. Does this remove instability? The thing's actually going to get easier for me as I do this, because hey, taking the other ones away made it worse. Right? And superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not, and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Source? I don't want to go there. No, no, no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. But what if I interfere with it? 
<laughs> you trust in me. Got heated. Wasting our breath with this old bear. There's gotta be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. But we're better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. When did this get? This really is uh, my last what? chance. Leave me out of this. <laughs> you lot can't. You know, get on. You've only three people left in this entire place and you're bickering at each other. I don't really want to work with any of you if you're going to be like that about it. I think some of this needed repairing. Maybe that could do with a bit? Probably okay for now. Right, let's go and try and get to the last one, shall we? And then we can go home, uh, read the law, and sign off for the day. I, I see a lot of um, stuff to do over there, by the way. Might actually have to use my fuel. Uh, my, my spare fuel, what's name? Where is this going? The wrong way. Okay. Turn around. Uh, so we carry on down this road. Can we just go down there? Yes. <laughs> then I shall. That's what I've got armoured steel plating for. Armoured, armoured, uh, car parts for. It doesn't seem to think this is too steep. <laughs> Definitely too steep. <laughs> Look at the trees. The trees are telling us what vertical is. Oh, we made it. I think that's the same ridge I fell off in when I inserted that um, clip into the last episode. That was that. What was that? Don't know. I think we can go over here and get some good stuff out of it. Ooh, plasma. Sucks to your plasma. Ah, fuel. I believe. Whoa! You just a uh... bolt, bunny. You charging me up? Ow! <laughs> I might have to limb you. Sorry. You just come out of there, so now I can't have that. Maybe. Um, you're in here? Yes. You better be. What are you doing? Perfectly good tree. Uh, actually, for once, I want to use this. There's hardly anything in this. Look at the size, it's tiny. It's fine. No. Good. <laughs> well done. What are you even chasing? I've got two zappies left. Look at this. Two uh flares. It's not very many. But why is it dark everywhere? It's <laughs> Surely it's morning by now. Spent six hours on the road. Ah, that's one. Arda crate? This is junk. Look. What's the point of having an Arda crate? The same junk in it as a normal crate. Inventory full. Oh, very well. I'm going to pick that up then. That's how this game wants to be. Ooh. I can't carry this much stuff and I'm still looting everything. Oh gosh. I'm not even going to go back for that gas cylinder.
Beer is number one. Cool. Excuse me. Spawning in there for, eh? Bit rude. Is that piece of plasma just ran away from you there? Yeah. Let's see if we can put some of this away. Looting is turning out to be quite difficult. We just have to ignore this house, sorry. Apart from to use it as a waypoint for where the road is. Well, I'm on the main. What? Uh, okay, we do a. We hang a Yui. We find another track. Over here somewhere. That was on the right. Yeah, of course. Okay. Where is it? Sorry, just now. Where'd it go? Back up. How hard is it to drive? Oh, there it is. It's beyond that tree. Okay. Follow this. You know what? Look at the state of the car. Let's get some putty. Uh, uh oh. There it is. It uses chemicals, and I haven't got very many of those at all. Headlight, bumper, headlight. Panel, yep. Fix that one. Oh, that's a mess. For an armored door, you think it'd take a bit more of a hit than it is. That's it, that's all my chemicals. I need to raid more of those Arda, like. Fallout trucks. Fix that. Drop that. <laughs> Get rid of it. Get out of it. No one asked you. Right. Uh, you're already on. Fair enough. Up here. Follow the road. We'll get there. If we don't keep stopping... Here we are. Now, I just repaired all of this. And look at the state of it. I've already got some fairly low... <laughs> low um, HP parts. And I'm pretty sure all I got hit by was one of the electric pulses from... Um, the Zappy Taurus that happened when you blow them up. Which is why it's still fizzing now. Didn't get any more thermosat, by the way, and now I'm out of um, out of the most abundant resource in the whole game. Yeah. Big one. Get to the gateway. Oh, bit of a lag. That was me, not you. Banking? I turned them on and now I have to go. <laughs> Turn the stabilizers on so stability is tanking. Yeah, look at the state of that. Uh oh. Holy heck. Okay. Let's uh, mark it so we know where we're going. Thank you. Okay. Well, can hardly miss that, can you? This is probably fine. <laughs> Here comes the storm. Don't rush, or you'll just end up stuck somewhere.
think we can just go this way. There it is. Yep, there we go. Controlled it. No worries. Glad I put the dot on the map. I don't think we can get up this hill. So, we're going to have to... Find that road. Where's the stupid road? <laughs> That'll be it. There we go. This is a little bit alarming. Because we can't get up there. So we have to go... Along here. Don't look at the map instead of driving. Turn left at the junction as soon as we can. At this corner, that's fine. <laughs> no one needs it. Chop it off. Remove it. Oh, uh, that's coming in fast. This way. Hopefully, avoid as many anomalies as possible, i.e., all of them. There's plasma there, but I'm now not getting. Control the skid. Yeah, this way. Oh, I think we've made it. Look how fast that's coming in. Well, not too fast, actually. I think we're going to get there before the red storm hits. I'm getting little colours on my car that imply bad news. <laughs> it's okay. It's gone away. Might have just been a localised anomaly that I was ignoring because I'm scared. Um, here we go. 40 miles an hour is as fast as we can go. That's crazy. Ignore that. Ignore all the things. Just drive across the land. Whatever's in between me and that gate is getting driven through. Apart from maybe that tree. I think the tree's okay. The tree can stay. Yeah! Whew! Complete a run with at least two junks in that lead and with twice the add Maybe it'll tell us when we can turn the shift tab to look at the steam achievement. Because I didn't show up on the video. But it wouldn't have anyway. Uh, achievements. Nice work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. And twice the anchor charge. No, nice. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. And once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty good. Got to hang a park in here as well. We made it back. Very happy with that. This rain here is mirrored by a cool breeze coming in through the window at like, IRL right now. And it's actually very um, immersive <laughs> weird, in a weird way. Look at how much weight there is on the back of this car. It's stupid. Um, right. We've got some things to learn about. Uh, now that we're here, I'll, I'll, there's some things that we need to learn about now. So I'll do that. And then after that, I'll do the law dump. So... Uh, I use the Tinker Station to identify and fix the car's quirks. Right, so there's a quirk to the car. I know about this. What seems to be the problem? I don't know. Apparently the car has a quirk. Um, and I don't know what it is. There's a lot of things it could be. Look, if, let's have a look at the, the station. Uh, and a, if an ability... Uh, oh, an ability... Oh, what happened? If an ability is activated, then the dashboard, like, this is the thing that happens. All of these things can have one or more, like, things happen to them that is a trigger. And then over here, the same number of things can be the thing that happens as a result of that. So we've got a lot of things to test to see if we can figure out what's happening. For example, I, you know... Nothing seems to happen if we turn to the left or right. There is a dome light that I didn't know about. The radio's on. That's fine. The wipers don't work. Why aren't the wipers working? That's interesting. Should they be working?
Is that it? The wipers don't work? Can I program that in? Let's see. Can I make this make sense? Uh, wipers switches on. Wipers no. Wipers goes oh, what? Toggles. They don't switch off. They just don't turn on. That's weird. Let's, um, did we zap it? There we go. Got a lot of repairing to do. And a lot of transferring to do. I don't know what that is about, so, um... I know what it's about, I just don't know what to do about it. I might try and work it out offline. Thanks for the veracity. Getting some flares at this point. Hand kind of handy. That's all of my flares. And food. Sure. That's probably it. Um, right, let's pick up this. Uh, what going up? Oh, that's not. Oh, hang on. Uh, right. Still full. <laughs> Still got room. Still got stuff in. You know. What is happening? I'm disorientated. There we go. So we want to build a bunch of stuff. We want to. Um, you know, unlock a bunch of things, I think. In the limb machine. Got a lot of repairing to do. Got some binking to do to straighten this wheel up, which won't stay straight by the way. It keeps flipping wonky in itself. And I think we might have to go on a drive to see if we can figure out what the actual quirk of this car is. Look at all this <laughs> it's ridiculous amount of stuff. And I think these go in the uh these aren't paint either, shush. These go in here. Uh, R. Let's have a look at what these dump dumpster pearls do. Curse. Oh, something to read. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Bug Watch. I'm Nicole, and I'm an entomologist, which means I love bugs. Today, I want to tell you all about a curious new bug I found out near Sierra. I'm a subspecies I don't think we've ever seen before. And here it is. As you can see, I. Ow! 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 God damn it! Ow! Get off! Get off! Yep. Uh, I'm going to put these away. There's more. Where are the rest? Are they actually in my inventory? But I forgot I got them. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Let's um. Crikey! <laughs> Put everything in here. And this and this and this and this. Go. Got three dumpster foils. What we do with these is, you put one in here, and it turns into something. Or a lot of things. What the heck? <laughs> what on earth is all that? Goodness me. Put another one in. I'm going to crash the game's physics just doing this. Look at the state of it. That's an insane amount of stuff. Put that down. Turn this on. We should grab all that. Put it in here for me. There we go. So, we won. Those steel plates just got sucked up. Oh, I keep forgetting that. If you want to keep the steel plates and stuff, they're just going to get deleted. Where did they go? Did they go in here? 
they do. Look at all this stuff. I, I, okay. I found them. <laughs> I didn't realise they would be in there, and I'm glad that they were. But I'm surprised I didn't just go in, in, the, in the trunk. Why didn't I just go in the transfer trunk? It makes no sense to me. Uh, please. My inventory is very sick. Yeah, you have that. Might as well have the gear as well. It's going to just be the things that are slightly too big for anywhere else. How about that? Uh, let's roll that. Got a few things to read. Which is grand. We might as well make a start on that now. And what I'll do is... Um, if... I figure out the quirk without leaving. I'll just tell you at the start of the next episode. Um, and if I don't... Uh, as in, without going on another journey to try and figure it out. And if I don't, um, then I'll tell you that I didn't. So let's go through our law. So if you're not interested in the law, I'll say thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. I don't need to put the time on because it's going to be the end of the video when I finish reading all this. So... Enjoy your day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. And for everyone who's staying, here's some interesting information about this game. Fatigue. All car components suffer wear and tear, but this is even more pronounced in the zone. Eventually, almost every component is going to need replacing, and sometimes all you can do with a worn-out part is dispose of it. I'm not sure what is fatigued, but I did have to replace a wheel. Car part status. Car parts gain certain status effects as they experience trials and travails of travel through the zone. They'll continue to get the job done, but these status effects can quickly add up. A thousand paper cuts can still lead to death, so don't underestimate these faults. Be sure to check your crafting options for ways to find fixes. Uh, I think that's everything, even though there's a dot. Oh no, here we go. Highway travel. Highways are your shortcuts across the zone, allowing you to bypass junctions and arrive at your destination much faster. Expect them to be a smoother, easier ride. This, uh, there are basically bigger roads on the map that we'll see probably at the start of the next episode. Quirks. Over its lifetime the car can develop quirks ranging from the curious to the supremely, anno supremely annoying. Something you're doing may be causing something else to happen. Perhaps even two things. Perhaps you know chain of things. Pay close attention to your car. You'll have to diagnose what's wrong before you can fix it at the tinker station. So that's what I was talking about. We don't know what's wrong. We haven't figured it out yet. Lead shielding. This is uh, private field notes. Dr. A.F. Kingy data unknown. This is ridiculous. We have transformed from a team of skilled scientists into day trippers with test tubes and sample kits. We must set up everything on site. We haul out equipment, computers, materials. We have these dreadful mobile laboratory trucks that are so generic in design they end up helping nobody do their work. The latest fieldwork solution is apparently to have us erect giant walls of lead behind which we are supposed to perform direct observation of the latest anomalies. We must rush out in response to the latest sighting, build these things like we would a snow fort in winter, then hope to get enough readings and data before another EMP shorts everything. It's utterly ridiculous. We don't even have equipment capable of helping us move and deploy all this other equipment. And uh, of course, setup takes so long that whatever we hope to catch is often long gone. That or has taken far too much of an interest in us for anyone to be able to work safely. Abandoned car. Transmission fragment. Arda Field Headquarters, October the 9th, 1968. I guess I'm saying that. Uh, I'm guessing saying what we all know is obvious by now, but all vehicles, all moving collections of metal, really, seem to attract the attention of a great many anomalies. Moving collections of metal. Remember. And I keep turning my car off and leaving it still, and it still gets taken away. They get chased. They get attacked for whatever reason. They get picked apart. I guess aircraft move too fast, or maybe helicopters aren't around for long enough for cars. This place and its wildlife just loves cars. Sorry, what? Okay, correction. It's not wildlife. What? Why? Engender sympathy. I'm going to repeat what other people say. No, I don't think it's bad to say this over the radio. It's not like our transmissions even travel anywhere these days. It's like trying to broadcast through molasses or something. I can be on top of a mountain and still get no damn reception. Trust me, nobody outside the zone can hear us. All right, all right, you cap on, you New England nut bar. This, this is exactly why nobody likes you. I assume that one of the accents we are hearing is a New England accent, and I should know who they're talking to, but I don't know who it is. Abandoned Squire, Transmission Fragment, Origin Unknown, Date Unknown. Hi, I'm Gil O'Hanlon, and I'm here to tell you why the O'Hanlon Squire is the perfect sedan for all your contract needs. O'Hanlon has over a decade's experience providing utility vehicles for state and federal needs. And with the Squire, we think we've really outdone ourselves. 
This affordable, reliable, and easily maintained vehicle boasts excellent handling and performance thanks to its 183 cubic inch straight six engine, four speed transmission, and advanced assisted steering. Four speed, come on. This is a car that's easy to drive, easy to look after, and as comfortable in the heat of New Mexico as the freezing forests of Wisconsin. Now, come with me as I take you on a tour of what will be the government's next and best all purpose automobile. Seismic squall. Sometimes the very ground itself is the most threatening part of the zone. Something beneath it has changed, and during times of instability, everyone and everything on the surface can be at risk. Shaker. Transcript taken from the dictaphone of Dr. Kelly Lombard, February 12th, 1696. 1969. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember our esteemed, honoured, and oh so kind colleague, Eric Gordon. Taken from us far too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humour, and his grace. Let us remember ha him how he lived and not how he died, propelled as he was, 600 feet into the air by a sudden blast of hot corrosive slime. I know our hearts are also heavy today, and we only wish Eric could also have been heavier and thus not flown quite so far. What the hell am I saying and recording and recording? Shops tourist. Journal fragment date unknown. You know what? It's an increasingly bad time in the zone these days. Every day when I step out my door, I should get a different job. I should do something else. It's getting worse. I swear these things are all but springing up out of thin air. And now we have this chain reaction thing. This brutal, deadly trap that just outright slaughters people. Whole lines of those dummies. Any one of them capable of setting off all the rest. Seven people have died in three days. You know what it feels like to me? Like the zone is murdering us even like it enjoys doing so. It's as if something really, really doesn't want us here. You know what? It's fine by me. Tomorrow morning, I'm out. Bolt Bunny, memo, memo FAO, Dr. Lopez, July 19th, 1965, addendum. I don't think we can describe intelligence because the behaviour seems both reactive and entirely independent or of any other entities. There is no evidence of judgement, of consideration. There is no sign of any social or group dynamics. There is little to no environmental awareness. I'd surmise that it is, in essence, purely instinctual. To this end, I recommend we ditch the moniker Bunny, as what we see here is barely even the base instinct to latch on and to feed it. And to feed. It is brainless. It is mindless. We cannot give them animal names. So to answer your original question, no, I don't believe they feel anything, and I don't believe it worthwhile we entertain any more guilt or shame in dealing with them as we might if we were to swat a mosquito. Not even that. We must stop calling them bunnies. Look, a dust bunny is... That thing, but made out of fluff and dust. So it's still a bunny. Shut up. Parcel memo, Battalion Headquarters, February the 21st, 1964. Captain Neil Douglas filing. Today, when engaged in pursuit of a pair of zone trespassers, three vehicles from B Company were damaged and put out of action by what may have been traps deliberately laid. The trespassers who crossed from Canada via the Salish Sea and may be fugitives are believed to have landed somewhere near Joyce after travelling by a small boat. After multiple sightings and extensive tracking, we encountered the trespassers at approximately 1100 hours and began a vehicular pursuit down several fire roads. Driving a stolen government car, the trespassers evaded capture for some time and were able to prevent further pursuit by leading our team across patches of some kind of semi-organic oil-like spikes. All three cars used in the pursuit suffered destroyed tyres and damaged wheels. It is unclear at this time whether these patches had been somehow laid in response to the pursuit or had existed some time beforehand. The patches are extremely dangerous and utterly unlike anything we have seen before. Recommend re requisitioning tracked vehicles from Fort Lewis for further exploration. Haha, <laughs> tracked vehicles. Nice. Right, dumpster pearls. Since slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart and who knows what'll pop out. So stabilize a private field notes. Dr. Mensar, September 15th, 1971. It is reassuring to know we at least have some ability to temper this particularly demented flavour of meteorology that blights our atmosphere. The energy demands truly monstrous, and the infrastructure we have had to construct and reconstruct is an engineering achievement in itself, but we have been successful. We have all but perfected the zone stabiliser, perhaps now we will no longer be quite as subject to its whims. I believe that correctly activating stabilisers will now create gateways through which it will also precipitate dramatically dangerous zone storms. It is important that nobody uses or modifies these devices without explicit authorization. Authorization. I wonder how the gateway knows to bring us back here. Stabilizer map. This map, found in the observation tower near Sierra, gives a detailed layout of the stabilizers in immediate area. Stabilizers? As if the zone could ever be contained. Panels. Armored panel. While there's no guarantee that swords, bullets, or lasers will bounce off this, it sure as hell makes an impressive piece of makeshift armor. It's sure as hell an impressive piece of makeshift armour. Interesting equipment. What have I got in here? Grounded sweater. 
Oh, I did get something. Designed to both insulate the wearer and divert discharges, this will somewhat reduce the effects of harmful electrical exposure. You may be scratching and have a copper trim that literally grounds you, but it could make all the difference when, it, when your body completes the circuit. Uh, medium backpack. Overburdened with equipment, dropping all your resources, sewing a little more carrying capacity into your backpack could be a substantial help. Powered boots. Would it be crazy to harness the remarkable properties of plasma to enhance a standard pair of boots? Would it perhaps make your falls and landings so much, so very much safer? Uh, what's in here? It's not scrolling. Okay. Uh, hello? What's new in here? Oh, it wasn't scrolled up. Tinker station. If your car ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is malfunctioning in some unusual way, this will help you understand how. Expanded Locker, one of humanity's finest and greatest creations, was surely the shelf. Celebrate these wonderful inventions by arranging several of them in order before neatly fronting them with some doors, and then make the whole thing bigger than the previous version you had. Exciting, isn't it? Paint. Antennas. Flower power. Listen to what the flower people say. Listen, it's getting louder every day. That may be a reference to something? It's an antenna, actually. Uh, the star thing. Not the hood ornament. Shifters. Got a new shifter. Sculpture shifter. What? There's a pretty good chance he won't bite. What are you? You look like a... a... I've forgotten the name of the dogs in Mario and Zelda. Oh, these are all... I didn't click on these, sorry. You know what they say. Detail kit, decal kit sketchy. With this design, you'll barely leave a trace. Wood panel. With this, will this help camouflage your vehicle amongst the trees? No. Will it make your car look better? Absolutely not. Are you going to apply it anyway? Probably, because you have no respect for fashion or style. Look, they're disparaging about their own decisions. <laughs> you made this game. Black paint. Vogue. Alluring. Mysterious. Black is eternally popular, always chic, and forever debonair. Cruise through the zone in the most fashionable of colours and make everyone ask, who is she? Uh, burnt orange paint. Is it getting hot in here or is that just you? Actually, thermal exchange means that your presence will obviously contribute heat to the environment, so it's actually kind of both. Feeling dramatic. Crimson paint. Feeling dramatic. Express yourself with the burnt red of a glowing ruby or an angry lipstick of a dying sun. Blue paint. Gentle yet strong. Humble yet beautiful. Lingering towards the moodiest end of the spectrum, the colour blue is the true artist's choice. Grey paint. Who says grey is boring? <laughs> That's all you can say. Uh, red paint. Lather your car in the most passionate of tones. Danger red. A colour frequently identified with bravery, success and good fortune. Light blue paint, the default and recommended paint job for the first run of the station wagon and featured in an extensive Family of the Future marketing campaign. Right, these is more actual lore. Anomaly Encounters, number three. We were up on one of the old fire roads doing maintenance on a new gate. Dusk was fast approaching. At first I thought Carlos had his radio on, but then I realised the sound is much too clear. There were dozens of them, moving like a swarm. They were deep orange, like embers of a fire. Each one of them made a sound of some sort, like wind chimes, but softer. We sat and watched them for an hour, before they suddenly faded out. Never seen anything like it. That's the trumpety trees that fix you, apparently. Anomaly Studies number two. Did we read number one? Ardicat Ref 122. One of the earliest consistently reported anomalies, this mimics many artificial noises made in its presence. A tiny burrowing bottle-shaped anomaly, this would surface and imitate engine noises, radio, static, or in particular, sirens. Studying these was difficult, as those approaching them suffered immediate nausea and dizziness. Sightings dropped to zero soon after the first crawlers manifested. I don't think we've seen a crawler yet, then. Ardicat Ref 363. While this anomaly cannot strictly be described as humanoid, it has nevertheless gained the moniker Hatman and a slew of distant sightings describe a first impression of a tall person in a hat and coat. I haven't seen one of these either. Sightings are consistent in their description of a tall, thin shape moving at, at or just above ground level, with a broad, low hat-like top above an almost cone-like tapering tower, lower structure. This can give the impression of a wide-shouldered figure. No sightings of this anomaly have occurred since June 1964. However, at this time, many zone personnel begin to report extremely consistent dreams of something similar entering their homes. We may not see them. Here is number one. I have it all figured out. Anomalies are like forces of nature. They're dumb things that happen, but without intelligence. Like, is the wind planning anything when it blows out? You know, it's just the wind. Same for the rain. Sure, it's part of the complex meteorological system, but it doesn't mean it has a brain. Not convinced? Fine, because I have proof that the anomalies are like the weather. And just like the weather, they're manufactured and controlled by government installations hidden in the mountains. Those fake hollow mountains, hollowed out by the cowmen, sent by JK. Better be a JK. Uh, Labrador. Number four. This is the real deal. This is how we truly make money from limb technology. Forget the physics. Forget the engineering. It's the chemistry. What we've got here is a secret to a host of new, more efficient catalysts. 
See, petroleum refining is dependent on a variety of catalysts, right? But there are a boatload of applications in everything from pharmaceuticals to biocatalysts. They are the secret ingredient in so many modern industrial processes, and we have the key to lowering their activation energy to ludicrously low levels. Imagine how the chemical and petroleum companies would pay for this. How much the chemical and petroleum companies would pay for this. And if Arda won't sell, then we should really... Wait, we shouldn't talk about this here. That report six. I need your help. Read through the data, look at the numbers. I've checked every equation, every result. The batteries were consistent. The quality of the materials are pure. I think we've read this one, yeah. I'm at my wit's end. I remember that one. I don't know why it's... Oh. The, it, it doesn't mean there's two of nine on the envelope. It just means there's two. Of, we've got two of nine. Uh, SRR meeting minutes. September 16th, 1949. Long time ago. Agenda. Celebration of the founding of SRR. What our future will look like addressed by Dr. Ophelia Turner. Who wasn't old then. Open ideation succession with consultation from Dr. Ophelia Turner on experimental setups. Arising concerns. Proper safety procedure, handling and protection in limb experimentation. Action items. Society agreed to regular, regular monthly meetings on Friday evenings. Dr. Reginald Stanley Robinson to take notes and format future minutes. AOB and matters arising. Tea cake testing. Tea cake testing courtesy of visiting Professor Sir Anthony Gould Russ. Meeting minutes, November 18th, 1949. Agenda, how best to classify and store SSR equipment and journals. Suitable social clubs for meetings that will not include Dr. Ophelia Turner. <laughs> Arising concerns, the SRR lacks formal structure. Country clubs, acad academies, golf venues, etc. Off limits to Dr. Ophelia Turner. Action items, Dr. Ophelia Turner shall be responsible for storing and maintaining SSR equipment. Dr. Reginald Stanley Robinson shall be responsible for minute taking and record <laughs> Local cider tasting, courtesy of Dr. Henry F.W. Mulligan. Mulligan, that's it. That's everything. I'm going to click through these, and I'm going to say uh, thank you for what... Ah, uh, Mr. Decal Kit. Now you... Camo, now you see me, now you don't. Legal note, camouflage decals provide no protection against anomalies or zone conditions. That'll probably do it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll join me next time when I will try and figure out, or at least show you that I figured out, what the quirk to the car is. And if not, we'll go for a drive and see if we can figure it out on the road. But until then, I've been Archers, and I'll see you next time. Bye.